With all of these nutrigenomic reports, you're going to get some colours. So we're going to have some greens, ambers, and also we'll have some reds as well. Now, greens are fine. You can just ignore them. They're positive. That's great. Anything to do with amber or red, that is where we can put some nutritional support in just to help your body. Now, here we've got two SNPs. So you've got increased sensitivity to caffeine and also you've got a relatively slow metabolism of caffeine. So the two SNPs here, which means that you may experience greater effects from lower dosage but also because it's relatively slow metabolized, it's going to stick around in your system for longer. So caffeine can cause negative effects. It could affect your sleep. It could affect your heart rate and also your mood. So there are some options, change to decaf or there's, I've got a link here, anything with a line, you can just click on it, it will just take you to the relevant page. So I've got a link here for a matcha latte, for example, because that's got green tea in it and that we need, which I will show you in your metabolic report. If we have a look on your vitamin A, this is so important for your immune system. Now you've got one SNP, um, so a poor converter, reduced ability to convert beta carotene to retinol. Um, need, meaning you've got an increased need for preformed vitamin A that you can find in animal products, organ meats such as liver, fish oil, eggs and milk. Your converting from your plant sources is fine, that's all good. All right, now I'm going to be covering that in supplements, which is why it's important not just to run down the local health store and just grab a supplement because we need to make sure it's got the right form in there. So I will cover that for you in your supplement. Now also we've got a poor transporter of vitamin D. So what you see in the bloodstream is not going to be what is actually in your cells. So vitamin B12 exists in different forms which need to be activated in order to have an effect. So if you have an issue actually absorbing vitamin B12 through the gut, then it's having more difficulty getting into your system. So we need to support your gut health for this. What I've put here is a food list focus. This is the same for all of the reports. It's general where, what things can you add? Because this is taken from all of the reports, all of the SNPs, what we need to increase. I've just put some handouts at the end for you. So this is just for a resource. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, I will do the same for the other reports. So this one is just your nutrient core.